students welcome again on your geography online class as we are doing the chapter weathering today's topic are effects of weathering and soil formation effects of weathering are of two types the constructive and destructive effect of weathering constructive weathering contributes to soil formation which promote agriculture chemical weathering produces various new minerals which prove helpful in several economic activities it results in the availability of building materials like cement and limestone now the destructive effects of weathering it sometimes dissolves the soluble components of the soil and makes the upper surface pitted and furrowed it produces difficulty in agriculture we are tearing leads to soil erosion with a great menace for farming mountain areas weathering sometimes causes iceberg to slide down the slope into the valley they obstacle in shelling of boats and steamers now soil formation the word soil has been derived from the latin word solum which means floor the formation of the soil is a combination of weathering of a parent's material its deposition in layers and transportation by weathering agents like rain wind etc over a long period of time soil in course of time gets enriched by humus as a result of decaying of organic substances soils are usually formed from rocks through the intermediate stage of formation of regolith which result due to weathering of rocks soil is formed by the physical chemical and biological changes that take place continuously in the soil layer Stage 1 bare rock begins to break up near the surface as a result of weathering due to weathering the softened and loose rock mixture formed on the bedrock is called regolith stage 2 the organic layer develops bacteria and other microorganism act on the remains of plants and organic material forming humus and releasing minerals vital to plant grown and stage 3 water percolating through the material distribute mineral and creating soil the weathering and soil development are not two separate processes one following the other both processes go on simultaneously and the soil body is the final product of both these processes so soil development is called as soil genesis soil degradation soil degradation is defined as a change in the soil health status resulting in a diminished capacity of the ecosystem to provide goods and services from its beneficiary soil erosion is the wearing away of the upper part of the soil it sometimes happens when bore soil is left exposed on the ground rain water running water and wind carry away the loose particles of soil it is a great problem particularly to the agriculture and land dust characteristic of the soil characteristic of the land slope bare land unwise and uncontrolled use are the causes of the soil erosion the loose and fragile soil easily wear away by the agents of erosion The slope of the land determines the force of action the erosional agent act upon soil vigorously on the steep slope of the land whereas they are less destructive of, on the flat land the root of the plant find the soil the bare lands easily wear away by the action of rain water and running water the, the removal of vegetation over grazing by animals and faulty method of cultivation is also responsible for soil erosion There are mainly four types of soil erosion and they are sheet erosion, slip erosion, rill and gully erosion. Sheet erosion which implies removal of top layer of soil due to faulty cultivation, rain wash or alloying action. This slip is due to the pressure of water absorbed by soil during heavy rain when it is unable to percolate down a greater mass of overlying soil on steep land slips down. Real erosion is the removal of loose surface soil by this stage the small streams which are formed by joining the water channel start downward cutting of soil leaving behind finger like rills over the surface the gully erosion running water cuts gullies and washes away the soil soil is a natural resource so it should be conserved conservation of soil means protection of soil from erosion and preservation of soil fertility 
Measures for soil conservation can be taken up in two ways by checking soil erosion and increasing the fertility of the soil. Checking of soil erosion can be done by afforestation or planting of trees in areas where soil has become exposed to agents of erosion. Around the agriculture land, trees should be planted to control soil erosion. Overgrazing is another cause of soil erosion. It should be avoided so that new plant can grow there. If vegetative cover on land is saved, soil erosion can be checked naturally. Contour cultivation and terrace cultivation should be practiced in hilly areas to avoid excessive washing away of topsoil due to steep slope of the land. A series of steps or terraces for a farming can check the flow of water and thus reduce soil erosion effectively. In jhum cultivation, which is also known as shifting cultivation, at first forested land are destroyed by making fire to clear out the forest and the cultivation is introduced on it. After a few years of cultivation, when the fertility of soils goes down, the land is left and another new plot of land is so taken for cultivation. The land which is left remains there bare upon and the abundant land became the arena of soil erosion. This type of cultivation should be prohibited to check soil erosion. Measures to conserve soil fertility. Soil fertility should be maintained by supplying adequate manure and water to the soil. Soil should be used accordingly to soil character. Care should be taken to preserve its fertility and productivity. The cultivation of soil existing plant and crops should be avoided for, or proper precautions should be taken. Crop rotation should be introduced to regenerate the fertility of soil. Sometimes green manure revive the productivity. Care should be taken to convert the infertile soil into fertile ones by applying chemical fertilizers. Agricultural resources can bring about new thoughts on soil character, new method for its preservation and new ideas to increase its productivity. Thank you students. With this, we finished our chapter, Weathering.